Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Restoration Renegades. I'm your host and official Restoration Renegade, Jeremy West. And today I have with me two experts from Dalworth Restoration. He may look like a holdover from the Civil War, but he's a present day restoration guru, Nick Hobbs. And the only time she's not on the phone is when she's on camera. The call center queen, Robin Kent. And last but not least, the official redneck, do-it-yourselfer renegade, Jason Ward. Well, speaking right. of Civil War, check out this bad boy. Wow. That is awesome. Jason? Yeah. Well, I actually found that in the creek. I was hiking with my boys, and we found a cache of 11 old guns in the creek. So I uh, brought it to Nick, and they processed this in ultrasonics, and that's what we're left with is that relic right out of the creek. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Well, speaking of creeks, water, and dangerous things, um, here's our next question for today, which is how fast does mold grow after a water leak? I would have to say pretty darn fast because we went down to that that job that was, uh, I think, in Austin, and it had been a fire, but then the water sprinklers had uh, taken all kinds of uh, water put it down into the hallway and just gallons and gallons of water and we were there just a few weeks maybe after that yeah it wasn't, and, uh, wasn't too long right after yeah um yeah. given you know kind of answering your question there it's you know it can start anywhere between 48 to 72 hours given the you know perfect ambient conditions and so there's a lot of different variables that mm -hmm. that uh can make it either grow yeah. sooner or later. Yeah. Is it um, that big of a deal though? Because people always freak out about, oh, black mold. That was a big thing back in you know 2000, whatever. You hear that all the time. Black mold, it has black mold. So. Sure, you, we still hear it a lot. Yeah, yeah. we get calls all the day, all the time about mm -hmm. black mold and people freaking out and it is a big deal. Is it dangerous? It can be. I mean, there's mm -hmm. molds that produce mycotoxins, which can be dangerous to, to you know, mm -hmm. somebody who maybe has a compromised immune system or um, bad allergies. And so it, it can be uh, an issue that definitely needs to be addressed. Well, I can speak from my experience just in that one time. We opened that door and it looked like something from another planet was growing in there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, big blue and That's green a, yeah, circles. Yeah. And it was like, <coughs> and like it hit me in the back of the throat. <laughs> And literally, I got a respiratory infection from somewhere bad. <laughs> and uh, it yeah. lasted a good six weeks, man. Wow. I mean, it about took me out. I didn't so. know that. I was Holy there with cow. you. It, I, it didn't affect me, but that's amazing. Oh, man. It just about took me out. So, I mean, I can speak from experience that it's bad. It could be bad. Uh, you definitely don't want it inside your office building or inside your home. I mean, it affects the indoor air quality and... and uh, and so it's a uh, it's a big deal. And you know when you go in and start tearing these things out, you want to you know have it in a controlled environment when doing so. And we work with a lot of uh, environmental consultants. And so if you have a mold issue, that would be the first step in the process is call calling somebody out to test and and uh, to put a protocol together for remediation. So if I'm a business owner and there's been a leak and I know it's kind of been there for a while, should I just go ahead and assume that there probably is mold along with it? Probably so. That'd be the best thing to protect the uh, public health and safety is the number one issue. And so if you can protect your liability, I would definitely be something I'd recommend. Yeah. So guys, if you've had a water leak or any suspicion of mold, go to restorationrenegades.com to find the official renegades in your area. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so that you get all of our future episodes on topics such as this. And also smash that like button. Let that YouTube algorithm know. This is a show you want to see more of. We'll see you on the next episode of Restoration Renegades.